We are pleased to present Maryland Snapheads Exploring Maryland Food, a farm to school curriculum. In this segment called Accessing and Eating Healthy Food, we will explore different ways that we can get healthy food and the people that help make that possible. People of all ages need to eat a variety of healthy foods, including fruit, vegetables, whole grains, dairy, and protein. Fruits, vegetables, and grains are grown on farms where farm workers maintain healthy soil, plants, care for, and harvest food crops to feed people and animals. There are also farms that raise animals from meat, eggs, and milk. Fish and shellfish are harvested from water by fishermen. Sometimes foods like eggs, fruits, and vegetables are sold at a farmer's market or farm stand, where the farmer or a farm worker sells the food directly to people in their community. Farmers markets are usually located in or near towns, near where a lot of people work and live. Most of the food we buy is bought from grocery stores where people, called grocery buyers, purchase the food that is sold in the stores. These buyers make important decisions about what to buy, where to buy, and how much to buy of all different kinds of food. There are many different people that work in grocery stores to unload trucks, stock shelves, rotate and maintain produce to keep it fresh, and so much more. When we shop for food in grocery stores, we can find the healthiest and freshest foods in the produce section, meat and seafood departments, and the dairy aisle. Other healthy options include frozen or canned fruits, vegetables, as well as beans and nuts. After we have filled our carts, we take the food to a checkout counter. Grocery stores accept cash, checks, and credit cards for payment. They also accept special forms of payment called food assistance benefits, which are available for individuals and families that need a little extra help to afford nutritious food and stretch their food budget. Many farm stands and farmers markets also accept these food assistance benefits. Since most grocery stores and farmers markets are found in or near towns and close to places where many people work and live, they are convenient for people living nearby to walk or ride a bike to get food. Not everyone lives in an area that is close enough to a grocery store to walk or ride a bike. And for some people that do not have access to a car, it can be difficult to access healthy food. Communities or neighborhoods in which more than 20% of the population have limited resources and no grocery stores or farmers markets that are easily accessible are called food deserts. In food deserts, we may find small stores called corner stores, which sell snack foods and other processed foods, soft drinks, candy, and a limited selection of groceries like milk, eggs, and canned foods. These stores are small and only have a few employees. Prices are often higher than grocery stores. Like grocery stores, customers can pay with cash, credit cards, and even food assistance benefits at most corner stores. However, they can't get as much food for the same amount of money or the fresh and healthier foods that they could get at a grocery store. Food pantries are another way for families who need a little extra help getting nutritious food. Food pantries receive donations from local grocery stores, businesses, farms, and food banks. Both food pantries and food banks employ people to manage donations, receive and organize the food, and distribute the food. Food pantries can be found in many different places in a community, including food deserts, schools, and churches. We all enjoy a meal from a restaurant. This is a great way for the family to try new and different foods, but it can cost much more to eat at restaurants than to prepare food at home. So most families only eat out for special occasions. Fast food restaurants are convenient for a quick meal, but they are also more expensive and less healthy options. Gardening is another way that people can get nutritious food. Sometimes when we plant a garden, crops will ripen at the same time, providing more food than we can eat before it spoils. To make the food last longer, we can freeze and preserve the food to eat later. We can also give away extra produce to friends and neighbors. Some people may not have a space to grow food at their home, so they may join a community garden where they can rent the plot for a small amount of money to grow a garden. This can be a great option because members of the community garden can share tools, seeds, compost, and other materials for the gardens. Gardeners may also share recipes and food from the gardens with one another. Finally, your school is a place that offers nutritious food. Cafeteria managers and staff make sure that there is healthy food available for breakfast and lunch every day during the school week. During the summer, many schools, libraries, and other community-based centers offer free meals to kids. 
any time of year, it can be fun to pick out new foods to try at home. Whether you visit the local farm stand or farmer's market, food bank or grocery store, families enjoy finding new recipes, cooking, and eating together. It can be fun to have a different kind of food each night of the week, such as Meatless Monday, Taco Tuesday, or New Food Friday. This can make eating as a family fun and gives everyone something to look forward to. The next time you shop for or eat a healthy snack or meal, don't forget the farmers, fishermen, and all the others that work to make that food available to us. And remember, without them, there would be no food.